Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome to Tandy Writes. So today I'm going to do a tag which is called the Full Time Cozy Time Book Tag, which I believe was originally made by YouTuber Novels and Nonsense. And I will link that video down below. So there are eight questions to answer and you can answer them with a book or a character that will go with each question. First question, crunching leaves. The world is full of colour, choose a book that has reds, yellows and oranges in it. I have a shelf here of entirely black books accompanied by um, my book, available on Amazon. So it's not this shelf. This shelf has like pastels of two bright colours. So for, what is it, reds, yellows and oranges. I think I'd go with these two by Cassandra Clare, which is City of Glass and City of Fallen Angels. Question 2. Cozy sweater. It's finally cold enough to wear warm, cozy clothing. What book gives you the warm, fuzzy... It just says the warm, fuzzy, but I'm going to presume it means that warm, fuzzy feeling. I think I might go with Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. So it's a book whenever I read it gives me a sense of familiarity and warmth, and like, this is something I know and love. And it's a book about falling in love for the first time, and that, I believe, would give you a lot of warm, fuzzy feelings. Question 3. Full Storm. The wind is howling and the rain is pounding. Choose your favourite book or genre to read on a stormy day. Well, the book that instantly comes to mind is The Death House by Sarah Pimbera, which is a book on my old Butchie channel I mention in basically every single video because I love it so much. And it's a book where... I associate it with rain because it rains a lot in the book and that's the worst excuse ever. They're stuck on an island in a house where they're just destined to die in. They're surrounded by ocean, there's a lot of storms. That was a terrible answer. Moving on, question four. Cool crisp air. What cool character would you, would you want to trade places with? I read a book called Flashfall and the main character whose name has completely slipped my mind, which is a bad thing, is a total badass. The girl, she might be called Gwen in the Everland book, is a total badass. There's so many great characters that I love and I'd love to trade places with. Question 4. Hot Apple Cider. What is an underhyped book that you want to see that you want to see be the next hottest biggest thing in the world. There's a lot of books I love so much and I want to keep them for myself because they're like my favourites but I also want them to be movies and TV shows and to have all the success in the world. So it's basically this corner on my shelf. Let's have a read. Okay, The Death House by Sarah Pimbra. Anna Dressed in Blood by Kenda Blake which I believe might be a bit popular, but it deserves more popularity. R no, Rooms Been Made Into a Film. What's that one? <laughs> Briar Rose by Jane Oliver is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, not Beauty and the Beast. It's called Briar Rose. A Sleeping Beauty retelling that is my f like one of my favourite books of all time, and I would love to see that as a film. And Undone by Cat Clark, and what, another book which is also one of my favourites of all time is The Bunker Diary by Kevin Brooks. Five? Maybe? Coats, scarves, mittens. The weather has turned cold and it's time to cover up. What's the most amazing book cover that you own but want to keep hidden from the public? There's really that book called Passenger. That was huge on Booktube at one point. And I got it because of that reason, but I just never read it. It's still on my like, TBR pile. But that book, Passenger, has the most, like, one of the most beautiful book covers I've ever seen. Flashful, Everland, Passenger are like the best covers that I've ever seen. And is it called Broken Beautiful Things? The shiny cover is also very pretty. Question something. Pumpkin spice. What is your favourite food in the full time? Quite a fussy eater. So I don't like a wide variety of foods anyway, so I can't give you an exciting answer. Even if it was just generic favourite food. But favourite food in fall, like autumn time. I can't think of anything seasonal that I like. That's very sad. I've got a big thing for like toasted sandwiches, but I can't answer that. <laughs> so I must have like miscounted the questions, or I just messed up somewhere because I've completed all the questions. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. But you know, your choice. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!